Hello everyone, I'm Fei Yang Xu from iFlyTech. Today, I will reintroduce a digital clock drawing test system for cognitive impairment screening, which is called DCDT. I will introduce these four aspects. First, I will introduce the background and the related work. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most serious global health and social crises. From the World Alzheimer's Report, we can see that there were 15 million dementia patients worldwide, and the number of patients is believed to be as large as 82 million until 2030 and reached 152 million until 2050. However, there is no cure for AD. The cognitive impairment screening could help with the early intervention of AD so as to slow down the deterioration. There are a number of methods aiming to screen cognitive impairment, such as minimental state examination, Ontario cognitive assessment, and the clock drawing test. The test, like MOCA, demands subjects with a certain level of education and usually takes more than 10 minutes. By contrast, the clock drawing test demands the subjects to draw a clock face, put all the numbers and set hands for 10 after 11, which is easier and faster. The commonly used scoring rules of the traditional clock drawing test are based on the static information of the drawing outcome. However, some researchers have proved that the screening accuracy can be improved by combining dynamic features with static ones, such as the computerized clock drawing test system and the automatically clock drawing test system developed before. There are many three contributions of this paper. The first is the interactive forms. The electromagnetic tablet used in our system can record the data of coordinates, time steps, and pressure. Besides, using the pen and paper are more friendly for older people. The second is the evaluation model. Based on the static results and the dynamic process, the scoring models are established to solve the problem of subjective scoring. The third is the DCDT system. The details will be introduced later. Next, we will see the overview of the DCDT system. The DCDT system contains two parts, offline and online parts. Concerning to the offline part, there are four phases. At the initial phase, the clock joint test data of 595 subjects was collected in Shanghai Tongji Hospital. After the data collection, the component segmentation model was established based on the stroke feature extraction and the label of strokes. After that, the component scoring model was established based on the extracted features, clinical scoring rules, and the component score. In the last phase, the comprehensive evaluation index system was established based on the indicators extracted from different components and the comprehensive score was calculated. After the offline part, let's see the online part. There were three phases in the online part. For a particular subject, the answer sheet clipped on the tablet is given to the subject at the beginning of the test. The test is collected by the tablet and the client. After the data collection, the real-time data processing is implemented through several steps. First, the features are extracted from the original data. Second, the results of component segmentation are predicted based on the extracted features and the segmentation model. Then, the component scores are predicted based on the results of segmentation and the scoring model. The comprehensive features of different components are also extracted. Finally, based on the extracted features and the comprehensive evaluation index system, the comprehensive score is calculated. 
The analytical results are presented after the data processing. The web page for results presentation mainly has three parts. In part one, the comprehensive and multi-level indicators score of clock drawing test are presented. For each first level indicator, a red dotted line is also drawn to represent the mean value of healthy subjects. When clicking the play button in part two, the drawing process of clock drawing test can be replied. In part three, the segmentation and scores of clock components are presented. So this is the overview framework of DCDD system. Next, I will introduce the technical background of the system, which mainly contains three models. The first is component segmentation model. This model divides the collected trajectory strokes into four categories, including clock phase, digit, pointer, and redundant strokes. The model contains two parts, feature extraction and model establishment. The extracted features include the features of strokes distance, strokes angle, and strokes time. And then the charge boost model was applied to segment the clock components. For the model training, five force cross validation method was used. The classification accuracy was 91% in the test set. Two examples of clock segmentation are shown in the figure below. The red, blue, green, and yellow color in the figure represent the strokes classified as clock phase, digit, pointer, and redundant strokes, respectively. The second model I will introduce is the component scoring model. This model is used to score the components segmented before. The pre-processing methods of trajectory points mainly include interpolation and smoothing. By applying the linear interpolation, the density of trajectory points is unified to benefit the reconstruction of the original pattern. The moving average method is applied to make the reconstructed curve smoother. Quantitative assessment criteria of different components are established based on the clinical evaluation rules. The accuracies of the scores of clock phase, digit, pointer were 0 0.98, 0 0.93, 0 0.9 respectively. The total score accuracy was 0 0.83. The third model is Comprehensive Evaluation Index System, which is used to make a comprehensive score on the results of the clock drawing test. This model also contains two parts. The first part is establishment of index system structure. The structure is demonstrated in the table. For the diagnosis of cognitive impairment, the four cognitive domains, including memory, language, execution, and visual spatial ability, are always referred to. Due to the clock drawing test, it is mainly used to exploit the memory, execution, and visual spatial cognitive domains. Three first level indicators were constructed corresponding to the three domains, respectively. The second level indicator reflects the future dimensions which compose the first level indicators. The third level indicators include the specific features extracted from the original test set. Due to the space limitation, only one specific feature for each second level indicator and each third level indicator is displayed in the table. The second part is comprehensive score calculation. For the three level index system, the entropy weight method was used to calculate the indicator's weight. For the normal MCI and AD subjects in the test set, the average score was approximately 71. 63 and 27 respectively. The result of KW test showed that there were significant differences among the three groups. We also can see the score difference from the density distribution curves. A demo video will be displayed to let you have a better understanding of the DCDT system.
DCDT, a novel clock joint test system based on digital collection and intellectualized analysis. Part 1 Data Collection Client. In this part, the process of creating new subject and new clock joint test will be displayed. The user login interface of DCDT system. Generate a new subject and record basic information. Select the current subject and initialize a new test. After the test creation, describe the instructions as follows. Please draw a clock face, put all the numbers and set hands for turn after 11. Part 2 Electromagnetic Tablet In this part, the joint process of clock joint test via electromagnetic tablet will be displayed. Drawing process of clock joint test via electromagnetic tablet. Part 3 Web page based result presentation. In this part, the analytical result of clock joint test will be displayed. Web page based result presentation of DCDT system. Report of analytical results. The comprehensive score of clock joint test. Detailed indicators of clock joint test. Ability of information processing. Ability of efficient execution. Visual spatial ability. Replaying the drawing process of clock drawing test. The video on the left plays the drawing process of clock. Meanwhile, the screw bar on the right shows the drawing graphics simultaneously. Scores of clock face pointer and digits. Okay, that's all. Thank you.